Cyber resilience has become a mainstream phrase among technology professionals. Almost every day we're reminded in the news of security breaches making it crucial for organizations to continuously enhance their cybersecurity readiness. Achieving cyber resilience starts with a holistic view of an organization, its data, its processes, its ecosystems, and relative exposures with a comprehensive plan to mitigate risks and lower the ROI for attackers. A critical component of that plan is improving cyber readiness with a trusted data protection infrastructure. Resilient infrastructure is at the core and can increase board level confidence that continuous innovation can take place amid ever escalating cyber threats, multi-cloud complexity, and a rapidly evolving technology landscape driven, of course, by the AI revolution, which is taking place before our eyes. Today, we're pleased to be hosting a special data protection launch event, building cyber resilience on trusted data protection infrastructure made possible by Dell Technologies and Intel. To kick things off, I'm joined today by two Dell execs, Travis Vigil, the Senior Vice President of Product Management, and Rob Emsley, Director of Product Marketing. Gentlemen, welcome. It's good to see you here in our Palo Alto studio. It's good seeing you, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's been a busy 12 months for Dell's data protection group. We saw the Navigating the Road to Cyber Resiliency, which we did here, that live event, which was the culmination of that series, capped off last December. Now, another event. This time, we've got hard news. So, let's get right into it, Travis and Rob. Maybe you could share today's news and the headlines. Yeah, I'd be happy to, Dave. So Dell uh, is expanding our industry leading portfolio of data pr protection appliances, software, and as a service offerings, which help customers strengthen, strengthen their cyber re resiliency capability in the face of increasing AI fueled cyber attacks. And as you know, Dave, cyber resiliency remains a top concern for organization of all sizes. We just completed our 2024 Global Data Protection Index and in it, we found, not dissimilar to what we found in past years, that 75% of organizations believe that their existing data protection measures are unable to cope with ransomware threats. And nearly 70% of them lack confidence that they could reliably recover from a cyber attack. So that brings us to today's news. We have three pieces of news today. The first of which is that Dell is introducing new Dell PowerProtect data domain models the DD9410 and the DD9910, which are systems that are designed for large enterprises and extend our industry leading capabilities in target appliances. Uh, you know, Dave, that data domain appliances have become foundational for organizations that are seeking to improve their cyber resiliency. And these new appliances come with some pretty impressive performance improvements. In particular, 38% faster backups and 44% faster restores. Yeah, for sure. The, the data domain appliances, we, we like to call them the ultimate in protection storage. And they just keep getting better. We've been doing this for a long time, Dave. So this particular refresh um, helps customers with performance in a number of ways. You know, certainly uh, with the uh, uh, introduction of new uh, Intel uh, Xeon scalable processors, uh, faster disk drives, and uh, the introduction of some of our compression technology, rather than being uh, an independent card, is now actually built into the processor. It drives other performance benefits around things like instant access and restore. That's improved by 18%. Uh, but also, performance is one element, but efficiency is another really important element for customers. The, the ability to get greater efficiency with uh, up to 11% less uh, power consumption. Uh, we're able to reduce the floor space in data centers by up to 50%. And you can imagine in large enterprises, floor space is at a premium. Um, so the ability to do that is really paramount. The other thing that's really important is uh, we continue to promote our three eyes with regards to immutability, isolation, and intelligence. And one of the things that uh, we've been tracking quite closely is the number of cyber attacks that affect the backup infrastructure. Certainly Sophos uh, recently did uh, a survey that identified that 94% of organizations that have been impacted by ransomware in the past year said that cyber criminals attempted to compromise their backups during an attack. 
So certainly the, uh, the ability to protect your backups has never been more important. If the backups are gone, then the bad actors can go after your production environment and you really have no defense. It's part of the core. We've talked many times, it's no longer even adjacency. It's a fundamental component of your infrastructure. And it feels like there's constantly reporting in the news, cyber attackers, they're getting through, ransomware payments are being made. And so these appliances, you know, they're another brick in the wall. What about Gen AI? We're more than a year and a half into the Gen AI awakening, I like to call it. Are you using Gen AI in any way to simplify backup and recovery for customers? Yeah, Dave, that actually brings us to the second major part of the announcement today. We're introducing Apex Backup Services AI, which is an integrated Gen AI assistant for backup and recovery, which allows customers to make their data protection processes more streamlined and effective. In particular, uh, the, the, the capability offers interactive reporting for real-time custom um, reports and suggestions. It offers assisted troubleshooting through guided steps and real-time advice and it offers intelligent responses with recommendations and best practices. And I think it's a great example of Dell Technologies' approach to generative AI. Uh, we have a, a strategy at Dell we call AI in, AI on, AI for, and AI with. AI in is, which is the part of our strategy which ensures that we are uh, building AI into our products. So this is a great example of that. But in addition to that, we have AI on, which means that we are providing server storage, networking infrastructure for customers to run their generative AI infrastructure on. And we have AI for, which is how we within Dell are using de uh, generative AI to modernize our processes and procedures. And last but not least, we have AI with, which is partnering with technology providers and software providers, models providers, to bring an end-to-end -end ecosystem to help customers deploy generative AI uh, on-premises. Anything you'd add, Rob? Yeah, there's one thing that we haven't seen a lot of the data protection market talk much about, which is the importance of protecting AI workloads. Uh, AI workloads and the infrastructure uh, that is used to, to run them uh, is just another attack service uh, that the bad actors can go after. You need to protect it in the same way that you protect the rest of your critical application data, whether it be uh, the training data, the models, uh, the output data, whether it be on-prem, in the public cloud, or at the edge. So that's something which is uh, a real big focus for us as we go forward. So the audience might recall Dell unveiled its in, on, for, and with AI strategy last year at Dell Tech World. And we've seen the appointment of Jeff Goudreau as Dell's AI head is really managing those four pillars or sort of help with the strategy. Look, AI creates a lot of data. It expands the attack surface. So you got to think about protecting it a lot. We hear a lot about uh, uh, data that's being generated uh, for other specific purposes. It's really valuable uh, data. So you want to be able to protect that. But speed is increasingly important as well uh, in cyber recovery. The time it takes bad actors to get in, steal stuff, wreak havoc, it's really compressed to hours if not minutes. So what are you guys doing to speed things up? Speeding things up is, is critical. Uh, as you mentioned, data continues to grow. Generative AI is actually speeding the growth of data. And uh, you know, if you look at the, the Dell portfolio, we have the benefit of having both data protection and storage as well as servers in the portfolio. So the third big piece of news today is that we're extending PowerProtect Data Manager Storage Direct Protection from what we announced last year, which is the support of PowerStore, to supporting Dell PowerMax, which is the world's most secure, mission-critical uh, storage, and we're, be, we're, we're being able to provide faster backup and recovery times uh, for, to 46 terabytes per hour for a single backup and 21 terabytes per hour for a single recovery. It's a, it's a great example of how we're able to innovate, not just in data protection, but in the other parts of the Dell ISG portfolio to provide valuable efficiency and valuable speed to Dell customers. Yeah, and the nice thing is, is that you know, one challenge that customers often talk to us about is operational complexity. So storage threat protection really allows customers to simplify their operations, centralize their management, and provide orchestration um, of uh, their backup and recovery processes with Dell storage 
all managed through ParaProtect Data Manager. Plus, the additional benefit is once you move data from Dell Storage onto the ParaProtect Data and Domain Appliances, you then have the ability to provide uh, secure data integrity through immutability and also optional Cyber Vault integration, whether or not that be on premises or through uh, our multi cloud um, options that we've made available. So, Storage Direct protection for Dell PowerMax will become generally available. Uh, later this year. So hardening the infrastructure and, and going faster. Nobody ever, nobody wants slower backup and recovery ever. So, so guys, thank you so much. Uh, the data protection train continues to roll. You're watching Building Cyber Resilience on Trusted Data Protection Infrastructure. We'll be right back. <laughs>